two tough games coming up away at Swansea. But first, a proper ding-dong derby against the Baggies of West Brom. Come on, Blues! <laughs> Right, Ding Dong Derby against West Brom. Not making any changes today. Just want to get straight into this massive game. This, If we win this, 16 points ahead of West Brom, we will go. Such is our dominance, other than Stoke City. Right, so here we go. It's not going to be an easy game, this. I can feel it already. And you know what derbies are like on this game. Literally anything, anything could happen here. Like that. Smash you onto the top corner. Completely unstoppable. Really, really ordinary, awful start from Blues. Look at this, so easy. Dink. No one closing him down, no one tackling and then smashing him right into the top corner. <sighs> he gets it back. Mags. Shay. Clive. Beautiful finish. Simple as you like. CNC Music Factory make it one all. What a lovely finish that he's just... Dinky little touch with the outside of his foot. Look at this. Kept on side and just boink. Thank you very much. 1-1. One, one. This is going to be one of them games. Stay tuned. And this massive gap is has appeared between midfield and strikers. Clive gets the ball. And he's looking for Shea. Oof. Gets it back. Gets another chance to get it in. Finds Hutter. Finds Ernie. Finds Corsic and he'll have a dig. Easy one for the keeper in the end. That's nicely done by Mags. And nicely done by Clive. Can he keep hold of it? Doesn't need to. Ernie! 2 1 Blues! What a mess that is by the keeper. Ernie's first effort didn't look didn't look great at all. Very weak. Piss poor effort, really. The keeper's just let it bounce off his feet. Comes back to him and he's not doesn't miss twice. That is a that's poor. But I'll take it. I don't care. Don't give him monkeys. Two one blues. As it should be. As it should be. Now if you remember when we played West Brom at home, we were I think we were we were two 0 up or something, and they came back. And equalised in the last second, so, you know, this and over. Much better, much better football. And it's three! That is a goal of real, real quality. Hutter with the finishing touch, but... Some absolute quality there, and someone's texting me, making my stuff go ping. I haven't got time for your nonsense, folks. Again, really bad goalkeeping. Really bad goalkeeping. But the one and two touch football there was beautiful. And there's Hutter. Stroking it home. 3 1 Blues. Hoo -hoo. He's not committing too many men forward. But again, oh my word. Too much space again. Lee Camp this time, mate, it's a good save. 3 1, half time. It's a great first half of football after a pretty dreadful start. We've just got to keep strong. Keep making those chances. There's goals in this for us. Definitely goals in this for us. Finds Hutter. Nice early ball in. Finds Clive. Just wide. And this is beautiful again. Hutter, really nice quick ball in. Oh, and that is so close. But was it gone again? 
Mustn't get sloppy now though, Blues. Mustn't get sloppy now though, Blues. Brilliantly done, Lee Camp. Oh my god, we've hit the post. Hit the crossbar. Tried something a bit different there. Tried the train. Oh, and hot as it's actually a great save. And to be fair, the keeper has not been... It's not a great save, apparently. It is, did look off the crossbar. So Dutch might replace his Ernie. Mahoney comes on for Mags. Both looking tired. Oh, and again, it's come to them. They've been lucky there. Very lucky again. And it's 3-2 all of a sudden. They don't deserve that. They've had two chances and they've scored two goals. Matt Phillips. But again... Luck. A lot of luck involved in that. I mean, Boeing, it comes back there after a good tackle. Taking a big risk there. It's paid off so far. And there's Shay. And he'll hit it. And that's his first real effort on goal. He's been very quiet today. And, oh, no, 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 no! Knew it was happening. Two minutes, as soon as he said two minutes to stop his time, we could see what was going on there. Blues have had three chances and scored three goals. Absolute farce. 3-3. Three, three. And again, completely undeserved. But it is typical of this game and typical of when you play in derbies. You've had ten shots. Seven on target. Absolute joke. Looks like Stoke drew as well, though. It's only, still only five points behind them. Borough have moved up into third place. 11 points behind us. Another kick in the teeth. Should be used to them by now. But they don't get any easier. Now, look at that for a team of the month. CNC Music Factory, Ernie, Jacques Magoma, Hutter, Harley Dean. Six. Six Blues players. In the team of the month for February. It just shows how well we've been doing. Right. Another real tough game coming up. Away at Swansea City. What's going to happen? Really. Really couldn't tell you. If you have an idea. Please let me know. Anyway. Back. Straight after this. Right. We're back. After a real killer of a game. Kicking the teeth game again. Derby against... West Brom, 3-3. Three, three. Never deserved a, a point out of that, West Brom. And straight from that, we go straight into another tough game away at Swansea City. And I want to get a result here. And he carries on his run. And he's away. What can he do with it, though? He pulls it back. Shay Adams, what a chance. Brilliant stuff again by Christian Pedersen who ran almost the length of the pitch and puts in an absolute wonder ball. And Shay will be wondering how he's missed that. Maybe doing one pass too many in the final third. And a Korsic. Fans Clive. Clive's going to go again, is he? Yes, he is. And he's going to hit one. What a volley. What a goal. Out of nothing. Out of nothing. Clive is there again. CNC Music Factory doing what they do. He didn't look like the best ball in the world from Shea, to be fair. But Clive doesn't score crap goals, as we know. What a lovely snap volley. See it again. Pretty simple in the end. The build-up is pretty decent. But show, I mean, that is not the best ball in the world. But the finish is absolutely world class. Look at that. Bang. Thank you very much. 1-0 Blues. And he's looking a bit better today. A bit more like his, his old self. And he's found Hotter. I think maybe Hutter could have pulled that back there. It wasn't a 
wasn't a convincing finish at all. I think he could have maybe pulled that back across instead of trying to go near post. We'll do our train again. Something we've been practicing. Oh my word, what an effort by Christian Pedersen that is. I'd love him to score a goal. It's lovely, lovely effort. Set one up for a volley. Of course it's nice ball in, Clive. And he'll be disappointed with that. This is a this is a good chance. A lovely ball in. I think he was a little bit of a cheeky nudge in the back there that the referee didn't see. It just did enough to put Clive off. And he does very well there to keep hold of the ball. And now Mags can go. And he's found Ernie in a bit of space. He's ended up going to Hutter in the end. He's fine. Clive. Oh my god, and Clive misses again. But here again, I mean, this looked like he was going to have a shot, but he ended up finding Hutter brilliantly, to be fair. Oh, Clive so close there. Keeper completely wrong-footed there, going the wrong way. See, Swansea have chosen to swarm the box. That's what they're going to do in these last 10 minutes. Oh, my word. I don't even need to swarm the box, because Blues will just give him the ball. What a save. What a save, Lee Camp. That could be three points there. Because the tackling was pretty, pretty poor. And I've called Campy chocolate wrists in the past. Didn't have chocolate wrists then. Wrists of iron. Iron wrists. Kim Fischay finds him. Hutter again. Now Hutter's finding a lot of... Finding a... Oh, my word. Oh, my word. Oh my word! Oh! That is all Clive. What a goal. He's missed a couple of headers, but he doesn't miss with his feet. That was all Clive, that. I was about to say, Hutter's found an awful lot of space out there. Didn't look like it. He looked like he'd lost out. Quick feet. Look at this. Quick feet here. Tiny bit of luck there, but that is just quick feet. Sorts them out. Pops it into the bottom corner. We love you too, Clive. We love you too, son. Shay. He's found Mags beautifully there. Oof. It's a shame that the fit the pass didn't... F the cross didn't fit the pass. Let's try a different set piece. Let's try a dash. Oh, and it worked! And Clive gets his hat trick. He's missed a couple of headers today. He hasn't missed that one. 3 0 Blues. And this will take some comeback from Swansea. But. But as we know, those comebacks are very, very possible in this game. But that is an absolute bullet. Corsic is a great deliverer of a free kick of a corner. Boom. Clive makes it three. Three nil Clive. Oh, right on the stroke of half time. Great first half display by Blues. Swansea, not been at the races. Blues haven't let him be at the races. 11 shots we've had. Six on target. 59% of the possession. Let's keep it up in the second half. Rough again. Doesn't look like any changes have been made by either team. I mean, I never make changes, but Swansea haven't made any either. Oh, and there's Mags. And they've been given so much space. Oh. Defender just did enough then. Actually took, took a bit off it. Oh, and Chase there again. He's looking for Clive and he'll have a shot. Oh, Clive is feeling incredibly confident. I think he 
probably should have then had a little touch and just ran it. But when he scored a hat-trick, you feel like anything can happen. And this could be it. Hits it early. Oh my word, that was close. That was close. I can't even speak. It was so close. Look at this. Hits it nice and early across the keeper. Oh, brushes the post on its way past. And Blue's getting so much time and space out wide. Clive gets up again. And again, cannot direct his header slightly behind him there. Mahoney for Hutter and for Sell for Mags. Pace, fresh legs. And this could be even more heartache for Swansea, I feel. And there's Clive. And there's Shea. He can be through here, can he? Oh, not quite. Now that is it. 3-0. Trophy earned. Workhorse, don't know what that's for. Clive gets to keep the match ball. Fantastic display from him in the first half. Blues, not that many chances in the second half, but never really in, in trouble. Good to be back to winning ways, though. That five-point gap remains. West Brom again have gone ahead of Middlesbrough. But Blues, now that 13-point gap is there again between second and third. And it looks to me that it's just going to be, it's between Blues and Stoke to win it. And Blues and Stoke are going to be the top two. So there we go. Two pretty contrasting games, I would say. One where it's a proper kick in the teeth. And we're getting used to these kicks in the teeth now, these ridiculous comebacks from teams, especially in derbies. So three all against West Brom, but a lovely, comfortable, nice 3-0 win against Swansea, which I th in a game I thought would be much harder than it actually ended up being. But still got our next two games coming up. Bristol City at home. And then away at Sheffield Wednesday. Another couple of tough matches. But I would su I would suggest, on paper, easier than the last two we've had. So, fingers crossed. Until next time, take care of yourselves. Keep right on to the end of the road. And I love you very much. <laughs>